EVT, an automotive test equipment and repair service. Your place where you can make one call to repair it all. We want to be able to cut every vehicle that's out there on the market from the tiniest little uh, French Trabant up to the largest, uh, you know, the largest truck out there with disc brakes. We're adjusting now, you know, to less than, you know, a thousandth of an inch on the rotor every time. If we've done our job properly, people will like using the equipment, but they might not know why they like using the equipment. It just does its job seamlessly. Uh, it's like sitting in a comfortable chair. Well, what makes that particular chair comfortable? Well, I've got no idea, but you know it when you, when you feel it. If you've got one piece of equipment that can do a wide range of vehicles, that's going to be the one thing to go back to. You're not, you're not, not going to need to worry. You, you grab the equipment, you bring it up, you know you're going to have the job done. You're not going to be sitting there wondering whether or not this is going to go wrong or that's going to go wrong. So that's our goal, just to have people have faith in our equipment and to have it you know, perform its duty day in and day out and uh, have a happy customer with smooth brakes drive away. And they might not necessarily know how it got that way, but they stay that way. If it gets fixed, it stays fixed. And uh, um, these are the people we want to make happy and we have to make all the people in the middle happy too. The people who use it have to use it, have to like it, have, it has to do its job every single time, day in, day out, every day. Welcome to the equipment video for the ProCut PFM 9.2 computerized on-car brake leg. This program will provide instruction for the use and maintenance of this innovative piece of shop machinery. The ProCut provides a fast and efficient means for eliminating brake pedal pulsation on virtually any vehicle. Pulsation has become more prevalent as auto manufacturers have taken weight out of brake components. These lighter systems are less robust and far more susceptible to problems. Pulsation is most often the result of thickness variation in the brake rotor. New rotors are uniformly thick and stop the vehicle smoothly, but thickness variation can develop over time, eventually leading to a pulsation concern. Why does thickness variation develop? Because of lateral runout in the face of the rotor. A rotor like this one, with lateral runout, will not wear evenly. As the wheel turns, even with the brakes relaxed, the rotor will contact each pad once per revolution as shown here. The rotor will wear faster at these two spots, leading to two thin spots on the rotor. It's easy to picture how a rotor with this thickness variation will cause a customer concern due to brake pulsation. In order to prevent thickness variation, the rotor must turn on the hub with less than two thousandths of an inch of lateral runout. Because most vehicle hubs have lateral runout due to stacked component tolerances, a new rotor, or a rotor machined on a bench lathe, will often have excessive lateral runout as it turns on the hub. The ProCut provides a long-term solution because the rotor is matched to the hub on which it turns, eliminating the uneven wear that leads to thickness variation. Reviewing brake concerns. It's important to remember that stack tolerances lead to runout, and it's this runout that in turn causes thickness variation. And it's this thickness variation that is felt as brake pulsation. Thus, if you can remove the runout, as the ProCut machine does, you can avoid the development of brake pulsation.